Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our 1999 Ford Escort. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually changing the transmission fluid and filter in this. So uh, let's go ahead and jump on in and get started. Here's the setup we have going on. Vacuum pump into this reservoir here. You can see it's pulling all the transmission fluid out and I've got just a, a dip tube shoved down into the dipstick uh, tube right there. So there we go. We're just pulling all this out. So I'm going to get this uh, get this evacuated. It'll probably take three jarfuls or so and then we'll crack the um, transmission pan off of there and see how much comes out from that. Looks like we're about done pulling all the fluid out of the transmission you can see it's just barely spitting there I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and um, and go ahead and pull this pan off we're gonna start by removing this little plastic cover here some 10 millimeter bolts looks like one two three there's one right here oh, right there and then there's one that's broken on mine over here but and then there's another one right here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off and get that going Went ahead and got all the, uh, you know, the plastic stuff out of the way. It was just that one. And uh, you can see where this is broken on mine. But there was a, a bolt in right here through this, through this right here. So uh, the next uh, next thing is we're going to go around here, loosen up all these. or 10 millimeter head bolts, all these that go around the transmission pan. So let's go ahead and get those off of there. These two look like the only two that are going to be tricky. There's one behind here right there and then there's one kind of tucked in right here looks pretty easy from the camera uh but uh I'll just have to use a universal so i'll let you know what i get get on there this is what i came up with for this this one here it's a uh swivel socket with a three inch extension obviously a longer one would work and then i've just got a stubby three eighths ratchet that seems like it's getting that one off let's see if we can figure out what we need to do to get the other the other one out of there Looks like a uh, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench will fit on there uh, pretty easily. So let's see if we can get that. Yeah, so we can get it at least broke loose and then uh, spin it out the rest of the way with our fingers. So on the rest of these, I'm just going to use this uh, universal. I know it's not impact rated, but I've, I've got it kind of turned down a little bit. It's just a quarter inch anyway, so. Yeah, it looks like that's going to work perfect. So I'm just going to go around here and, and get all these out. Before we can get the pan out, we have to make some room here for the pan to clear. Because uh, this is a little tight against there. So what I've done is jacked up the engine with the with a bottle jack. And I just put a piece of wood there to, to kind of... I don't have a whole lot of pressure on it, just a little bit. And what that does is it, it supports the engine because I'm going to be removing or, or loosening up this here. So the way we're going to do that is remove two bolts out of here that are 17 millimeter and they have these washers on here and then uh, remove two nuts off of these studs from the engine mount and those are 14 millimeter. Once I've got all the bolts out of the way and the, the nuts loose on here, you can see the studs are just barely sticking out. The reason that is because I shoved the, one of these bolts in here. I do that to go ahead and hold this, uh, this lower brace in in place low and that'll just barely give you enough room to squeak this pan by this uh this right here so once we've got everything you know loosened up here and then our bolt up here holding it down we can go ahead and get this pan out of here so i'm just going to loosen up these two uh bolts here that i just left in here just to hold the pan and there you go it slides right out no problem at all this right here is the uh, where the dip tube you know goes in that's the little suction tube i've got uh on hooked up to the recovery container i'm gonna clean this pan now and i've just got this rag here i'm just gonna wipe everything up these magnets i'm gonna take these out of here and wipe those down too got her all cleaned up you can see i uh, left this rtv on here the <laughs> i guess i left it on there the first time i did this a while back and uh you know it didn't leak at all 
in the last uh, however many thousands of miles so i'm just going to leave it on there for now and uh go ahead and put that new gasket right over top of there i'm going to go ahead and get this uh transmission filter off of here there's three 10 millimeter bolts holding it on so we're going to use this ratchet here back these off and uh, let's see there's one back here and then one kind of tucked in right there we might use the other quarter inch ratchet for that we got our quarter inch ratchet with a three inch extension universal and a 10 millimeter standard socket looks like we can fish it right up through there and it'll get get on that bolt there we go perfect this uh filter wanted to drip a little fluid out of it there so i went ahead and uh put this catch pin underneath it here got all that fluid drained out of there and i've got this last bolt and uh, this is the one with the little wire um clamp on there and it looks like this is a, a nice and long one too uh pretty much let's check the length on these looks like, yeah it's the same length as this rear one so just keep that in mind so the long one comes out of here and the long one comes out of here and the short one goes into there the old filter has this uh, this white cup on here and this o-ring snaps onto it here's the new o-ring that came with the uh, new filter so what i'm gonna do is just put that around here like that and then i'm gonna put this whole assembly onto there we go onto the new filter so let's go ahead and do that we got got our new filter here and we're just going to snap this white little deflector thing on here with this uh with this o-ring so there we go that looks great got our new filter here went ahead and got the uh you know make sure your o-ring is in place and this little plastic white thing here and uh, we're gonna slip this into place right there push it up into the into the seal you know seal that o-ring there we're gonna get this wire clamp and then grab one of the longer bolts and that's going to go into here. We're going to just hand, that, hand thread that into there just to kind of hold the filter in place while we get the rest of them going. We'll go ahead and get this next bolt started. And that one goes back here. This is the other long bolt, short bolt that goes back here. So we're going to get these good and tight, but not too tight. Don't want to strip that housing out. Just get them to where they're not going to back off. Got our pan all cleaned out. Looks great. Got my bolts in place here, holding the gasket on. Uh, you can see there, you know, they're just, it's nice because it'll hold it in place for you. And uh, we're just going to kind of go back with how we took it out. Just kind of fish it around there a little bit. Go ahead and get these started by hand. That one was easy to get to, get to so go ahead and get to that one. And let's see if we can get to this one right here pretty easy. So let's get this one started. There we go. Just kind of got to do the wiggle and jiggle a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and get this one here. There we go. And this one back here. There it goes. Just like that. I just kind of wiggled the pan a little bit and it felt like it, you know, you could feel it just go right in that, those threads of that housing so next up we're just going to put all these pan bolts back in here and, uh, and then we'll torque them down i forgot to mention before uh but go ahead and get this uh this surface cleaned up on the transmission housing before you put this pan back on i'd wiped it down really good you know since it didn't have any adhesive left on it from the uh, rtv it was uh it was good and clean i just wiped all the dirt off of it We've got all the pan bolts started by hand now i'm just going to go through and uh tighten these down with this little ratchet and uh just kind of get them just just snugged up ready for the uh, uh torque wrench to get on here 
got them all run up there real good uh, i'm gonna have to use this universal i don't really like using universals while i'm torquing but um i'm just gonna set these to looks like i've got, I've got it set to about 60 inch pounds that should be more than adequate um, but double check your torque settings for your model because you might have a different torque setting than mine um, and this might not even be right it just feels about right that it's plenty tight uh, so we've got those two tight I'm just going to go go around the world here with these and, uh, and get them all torqued down transmission pan bolts torqued down everything's looking good there gasket's not squeezing out you know it's it's just tight enough that's we don't want to over tighten those at all that's uh, that's the main thing so i'm going to pull this down a little bit i'm going to get our bolt out of the way that was kind of holding everything up there make sure these studs get back where they need to go washers in place let's go ahead and get this bolt started in here got our other bolt right here get that going these two 14 millimeter nuts these are 17 millimeter I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these down got that all tightened down no problem at all with that we're gonna go ahead and lower the jack now that'll kind of take the weight off of the uh, thing sounds kind of funny doesn't it take the weight off of the engine and everything I'll just use like I said just use that to support it and uh, that, that went well all right so let's go ahead and get some transmission fluid in here and uh, we'll be Ready to rock and roll. Alright, don't forget to put your little plastic cover back in place. This is like a coarse thread, coarse thread, and then this one up front is a machine thread. And then these two here on this side would be a machine thread. This one right here and this one that's broken on mine would be a machine thread also. 10 millimeter head. Got our Max ATF here. You can check on their website to make sure it's the you know it's the right one for your vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and just get this on in here. We've got everything tidied up down down below, and uh, so I got. Uh, I'll let you know how many quarts it is when we get done. Uh, pro tip here: you want to pour it in slow and let it kind of catch up in the drain or in the little dipstick tube there, because it will it will overflow on you. I've got her running and I uh, went ahead and put two quarts in there and let's see what we got on the dipstick. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks like we're on the the low to middle mark. Oop, there we go. The low to middle mark of the 20 degree Celsius, which is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. So, it looks like it could use a little bit more, but I'm going to probably run it a little bit and I'll just check it I'll drive it around the farm here a little bit and uh, check it in a little bit all right guys well that's about got it I'm um, really you know really happy with this car and uh, the service it's given me over the years and um, so that's that's it yeah we got the transmission fluid in it only took two quarts maybe two and a half I might add a little bit later um, but you know yours yours may vary so anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you next time